All right, guys, welcome to our tip 68. And today we're going to use chat GPT to help us automate Google sheets with R and I'm going to go through some code and it's going to be really fun. So, um, and make sure you stick around to the end. I'm going to give you an exclusive access to a live workshop where you can learn even more about chat GPT with me live. So let's get this thing started. Uh, today, this is what we're going to be making a spreadsheet that it contains my R tip 68 automate Google sheets. And we're going to create this spreadsheet in here. And I'm going to show you how to do this with chat GPT. So, Let's set the spreadsheet aside for a second. And what I'm going to do is uh, get you set up for this R-Tip. So this is R-Tip 68 ChatGPT for automating Google Sheets with R. Uh, if you want all the code that you see here, make sure you join the R-Tips newsletter. Uh, you can subscribe in the video notes. We're going to be using this cool thing called ChatGPT. And you can see here, I've got some ChatGPT prompts. Let's check this out. I'm just going to type in a prompt here, how to make a Google Sheet with R. And I hit the enter button and you can see ChatGPT immediately starts thinking. And what it's doing here is it's just making a simple prompt. All right, so I went ahead and I pasted in the results here of what it gave me. And I just wanna kind of go down through, I wanna show you real quick um, how this works and how cool this is. So first off, um, it had me uh, install the packages Google Sheets 4. Um, I already have that installed, so I actually just need to run the second line, which is to load the Google Sheets 4. And then what it's gonna ask us to do is authenticate. So I've already authenticated um, but you, uh, what you'll do is you go through the, the authentication process. I'm going to hit selection one uh, to pre-authorize my account. And then now I can have access to Google Sheets. So the new sheet that I created was for this R tip was uh, R tip 068 automate Google Sheets. You just run this and it's going to create that sheet for me. Um, and we're going to store it as new sheet. I've already done that. And it actually created this file for me right here. We can then take, uh, we can use this next line of code here and this line of code to create a data frame and add data to that sheet. And it's just written this information here. And then what it does is it gave me a little bit extra code here for finding the existing sheet. So you can use the GS4 find and give it the RTIP 68, the, the title. And you can see here, it has found that RTIP for me. And then it did something which is very common with ChatGPT, it hallucinated. So this is one of the problems with ChatGPT. It gave me this function here. And when I try and run it, uh, there is no function called sheets edit cells. So, um, so next, what I asked it to do was I asked ChatGPT how to locate a Google Sheet by its ID or its URL. Uh, what it did was I, when I prompted it, it gave me all of this code right here. So let's test it out. The code that it, that it provided uh, was something like this, where library Google Sheets 4, it had just kind of like a default URL with the edit behind it. Um, I noticed that when we run this though, um, you need to update it for your sheet ID and you actually need to remove the slash edit. So I updated it for my Google Sheet ID, which is the one for, for this one right here, this RTIP 68 Automate Google Sheets. Um, and you'll wanna update it for whatever your Google Sheet is. So when I run that, now I have this sheet URL saved here. So control enter. And you can see what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this tools file path sans uh, extension, base name sheet URL. All this does is it just actually grabs off this end part, which is the ID, okay? So I grab that sheet ID, control enter, and now I have the sheet ID, and you can use this GS4 get sheet ID. This allows you to access that sheet. And then um, what it does is it gave me some code. Now, um, I had to modify, modify this code a little bit because I wanted to write to uh, the specific sheet, um, the sheet by URL. Uh, I wanted it to write this data frame MPG data set, and I wanted it to create a new sheet named MPG. Okay, so when I do this, control enter, it's, you can see it's writing there. And if I go back to my uh, R tip, I now have this MPG tab, and you can see it's got all of the data in here. So beautiful. Now we know how to automate Google Sheets, and we, you saw my process for using ChatGPT, how to get me there fast. Um, if you want to learn more, I actually have a live webinar, a live workshop. We're going to cover ChatGPT for data scientists, and I'm going to go through a lot more detail than what you saw here in this lesson. I'm going to show you the mistakes that I made when I first started that cost me about three months of pain and suffering with ChatGPT and being stuck in this thing that I call beginner mode. I was stuck in that for a while. Even being a data scientist with over 10 years of experience, I was still stuck in beginner mode. And I wanna show you how I broke out of that. That's what this workshop's all about. I'm going to help you get through those first 
a couple of months with ChatGPT of struggle and get you up and running fast. So you can register here. There's a link. Um, it's just this link right here. There's also a link in the video notes. Um, definitely register right now. Click that link um, in the video notes and you will be registered for ChatGPT for data scientists. It's an awesome workshop that will help you maximize your abilities with ChatGPT. All right, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.